Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Budget Reload and Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's April. It is time for another cash envelope stuffing. I can't believe this is already April. This time around, we have $1,335. We have our cash envelopes. We have our sinking funds. And we have our challenges coming up uh, in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and let's empty out our cash envelopes and see what we have left over from March. Okay, these are my cash envelopes. These are the ones I use all month long. First one is groceries. Next one is gas. And we have health. We have pet needs. We have emergency, also my miscellaneous. And we have eating out, which is, uh uh, it's empty. All right, let's see what all we ended up with. Okay. If you haven't seen us before, I always try to put a $100 bill in our grocery envelope because I will do anything I can to not break this. Uh, at least I'm almost guaranteed to have at least $100 left over because I, I'm not kidding. I have made some funky, wonky meals just so we don't break this thing. Um, you know, it has definitely been a game changer. Uh, going back to cash envelopes, we did it. Um, you know, quite some time ago when we were, you know, a little bit younger and with the whole COVID nightmare, I mean, it is uh, definitely out of necessity that we've gone back to it. All right, we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 210, 211, 212, 213, 214, 215. That is awesome. And what I do with our extra, I'm sorry, we have dogs still up. Uh, what I do with our extras, uh, this goes towards our debt payment. So I will make another extra $215 payment on our debt. All right, let, let's get our uh, cash going and let's start stuffing. Okay, taking my cash envelopes out of my little uh, wallet, it'd be a little easier. All right, this is my April budget, and we're going to work on our cash envelopes, and we're going to work on our sinking funds. Um, this time around, I have 1020 for my cash envelopes, and I have 315 for our sinking funds. So the very first one I will work on is groceries, and I have $400 set aside a month for that. And as always, I'm going to start with that $100 bill. I'm telling you now, try it. I, I'm not kidding. This has been a game changer again for us. Okay, and then I need 15 20s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, that gives me 400. And some months, I'm telling you, you know, when I have to break that 100, it is just, ugh, it's heartbreaking. But it happens. I mean, it depends on, you know, what you may be short and what you need or what's on sale. That's another big one. Gas for us, ugh, that is another big one. This is also 400. And as uh, gas is now $4 a gallon where we live in California, in Northern California. Um, it's going to go up. And as my husband goes back to work, it is going to go up again. So for now, we're, we're working on 400. So I need 17 20s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, that's 17. I need four tens. One, two, three, and four. And then I need four fives. One, two, and four. That way, you know, it gives me a little bit of leeway that, you know, if I want to fill up a partial tank, I'm not breaking all these 20s. So. All right, this one is a really hard pill to swallow. When we first moved up here, gas was under $2 a gallon. And at the worst, when things were just all over the board and gas was $5 a gallon here and up, um, our gas bill was $1,200 a month. Man, that was just, oh, it was heartbreaking. <laughs> Absolutely heartbreaking. All right, the next is health. 
um, this is going to be, you know, toothpaste, laundry detergent, you know, those kind of things. Uh, anything having to do with, you know, our clothing, our personal, you know, anything like that. Okay, health, I'm going to do four 20s. So that gives us 80. And then I'm going to do two 10s, you know, for anything little, you know, if I just need to run in and get, you know, some toothpaste or whatever. All right, so it's $100 for health. Okay, pet needs. I'm only going to do $10 again this month. Um, we're doing Chewy.com, and that worked out really, really well because our Walmart hasn't had, you know, on the dog food we use, they haven't had any. So online has been great, but I used the $10 for, you know, Chewy's, cookies, you know, those kind of little things. All right, so that's $10. Uh, emergency or miscellaneous, I always give us $50. It's for anything that comes up, you know, anything odd. And, you know, that I can't really stick in another category. All right, so that's 20, 40, and 50. And this is kind of a hit or miss category for us. We either use it or I have all 50 left. It's kind of a, you know, <laughs> it's just kind of a weird, weird category for us. Uh, it's feast or famine and eating out as much as I like to say oh no no we're gonna put nothing in this envelope <sighs> we just aren't that strong-willed yet I mean it's $60 and you know I know this is generally gonna get used so <laughs> it happens I'm still human all right those were our cash envelopes let's move on to our sinking funds all right, next up, sinking funds. Um, what's a sinking fund? Basically, it's a little tiny savings event for something you have planned. Unlike an emergency fund where you're just kind of hoping to save enough money to, you know, to take care of anything life throws at you, these are things that you definitely know are coming. Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, um, some form of emergency, like for us, our big one is our water heater. So for us, it's the Christmas fund, birthdays, anniversaries, Mother's Day, Father's Day, the water heater, ugh, which we're hoping just lasts um, just long enough for us to save for it, and a little bit of an extra emergency fund just so I can tuck that away. So our biggest one for here will be our Christmas fund, and that is 100 and twenty dollars. I'm hoping to save fourteen forty over the month, um, over the whole year. And then I think next month we'll go ahead and we'll count everything and make sure what should be in here is actually in here. All right, birthdays. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So we have four envelopes that get ten dollars and then one envelope that gets five. So total, I'm going to budget every month for $45. And, you know, I mean, this is one of our daughters and it's $10 and I know it, it doesn't seem like much, but you know what, over the course of a year, that's gonna turn out to be $120. And, you know, my kids aren't little anymore, so, <laughs> Uh, you know, a little bit of cash, a little bit of, you know, dinner, going out, money, some, just something fun for their day. You know, it adds up over the year. It really does. And my grandmother, who absolutely hates when we do anything for her birthday, I put in $5. That gives me $60 at the end, and that turns out to be... Um, some really nice candles she enjoys, a beautiful bouquet of flowers, and something special for dinner. So, you know, it makes a difference. It really does. The next step for us would be anniversaries. And I do $5 for my parents, and I do $10 for us, because one of these days, we want to take a trip. I don't know when that's going to be. You know, and the rate we're going right now with life it's never going to happen, but I'm still going to put away a little bit of money each month because you just never know. All right, so it's five for that one, and it's ten for this one. So that gives us our fifteen. 
Okay, Mother's Day. I love this envelope. Uh, I do 15, so we'll do a 10 and a 5. And there again, putting a little each month makes a huge difference. Father's Day is 10. My least favorite, ugh, the water heater. That gets 75. And I just hope we end up with enough <laughs> at the end of the year to actually be able to pay for this thing. That's 60, 70, and 5. And usually whatever I have left goes in emergency. And I should have 35. So I have 25, 30, and 5. And just like that, our envelopes are full. Our cash is gone. But we've got one more thing still to do. We need to get these savings challenges. Let's take a look and see how we did. Our savings challenges. Well, we participate in two. I have our year-long savings challenge, the 52-week. And then I have a monthly savings challenge that we kind of change up every month to make it a little different. So the first one is the 52-week challenge. And we went with the $25 a week. I thought I could fit that in our budget. Uh, at the end of the year, we're going to end up with $1,300. And I put in $25 every Saturday. Uh, there are 52 Saturdays in the year. So right now, we are at week 13. This put us at our last deposit in our envelope on 327. So we should have $325. And I can tell you for a fact that we do, because my envelope was so fat, I had to take money out and swap to bigger bills. So we have one, two, three hundred and twenty-five dollars. And I tell you what, I love these envelopes, but after you get a, you know a whole stack of twenties and fives, it kind of pushes it a little bit. So I think you know each month maybe we'll swap the money out and put in a fresh hundred. So we'll see. So the fifty-two week challenge. We are at 325 and at the end of this month, we should have 425 So uh, now May, okay, this one is going to have five Saturdays. So that one I'm going to have to work a little harder. So that is our 52-week challenge. We are right on schedule. Thank goodness. Uh, April's a tough month, taxes and, you know, all that fun jazz. So I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. So that's April. All right. Now, for March, our deal was the $70 uh, savings challenge, and I went ahead and colored these in each time we added to it. See, you can see how kind of fat this is. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and seventy. So this one I had to work a little harder at. You know, I had ones and everything. I was, you know, scrimping and saving. And at the end of the year, um, we will take all of our little completed monthly challenges. We'll take the 52-week challenge and we'll add them all up, maybe on New Year's, and we'll see how much we actually saved for the month. So, you know, hey, we're working on it uh, month by month, step by step. That's all we can do at this point. Okay. Now for April, uh, I got this little printable from hasslefreesavings.com. And this has 30 of the little eggs. And you can make it be any denomination that you want. So, I mean, if you make it a dollar each egg, that's $30 a month. Uh, $2, $3, you know, whatever. Sky's the limit here. But for me, April is a tough month across the board for us. So for our April egg hunt, I'm going to make these be $2 each. 
So I'm really hoping to save $60 for the month of April. If I can do it, it's going to be a miracle because April is tax month and it's tough for us. So uh, I'm going to work on $60. If I can manage to make the, some of them $3 eggs, I will. So we'll see what, you know, we kind of end up at the end here. So gang, that was our catch stuffing. It was a pretty straightforward month for that. Nothing too out of ordinary. Um, I can't wait to see what uh, comes up for me. Thank you so much, gang, for being here. We really appreciate you spending time with us. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for sharing. But most importantly, everyone, be safe, be well, take care. We will see you soon.